most exciting aspects of the entire week. That's absolutely true. And we're going to have some really neat coverage of the colleges. Um, uh, when they come off stage, we're going to have a, a remote oh. shot of them right there on stage left. Yeah. It's cool. You know, you just can't, you can't teach youth and talent, you know? I mean, you, they, you can't recreate that. And it's just, uh, it's, that's the lifeblood of our hobby. That's the future of our hobby. And that's the most fantastic thing in the world, it really is. So we have, we have most happy fellows warming the mic. Is that live? Oh. All about a place away down south in a time called used to be the beginning and the ending of my story is that again. <laughs> you might have. They call me Slippery Sal, I mean old water from Gal. They were standing in line just to be her pal. I'll tell you best that I can, the way it began. She did the town with Terry Dan, the oyster man. They came a shovel and feed down along Bourbon Street. Till they stopped at the corner for a bite to eat. They had a mess of grits, and when they were through, she went to sneaking out the back door with somebody new. That's why they called her Slippery Sal, that mean old waterfront, waterfront gal. She was no good, he should have known. A woman like that had better left alone. The poor old dirty was sad, but then he got mad. Cause she took the very last corner he had. He had that look in his eye, and I'll tell you why. You didn't do that to Dirty Dan, the oyster man. They said through all of her life she was the devil's own wife. Till old Dirty got her with his oyster knife. And that was the end of Slippery Sal. The mean old good for nothing water run gal. So when you're walking down Bourbon Street, be careful where you put your feet. Put your little feet. Cause likely it's not if you step on that spot Where old Sal died, you're gonna slide a lot When it happened so long ago And I told you about the best that I know best that I know About Dirty Dan, the oyster man And Slippery Sal, that water bright gal About Slippery Sal and Dirty Dan, the oyster like inside every night that I would call there would be sweet May with a hat good on standing in the hall where we go tonight she'd say and that's not all sweet May had to give me give me a bit awful bad I'm glad I said hey by the way there's something that I want to say I'm gonna get myself a little red coat some little red knickers too I'm gonna get myself a long white beard when I go to Call on you, you want to know the reason because You seem to think that Santa Claus would make things seem more real, sweetheart Made up my mind, I'm gonna dress apart Don't you be surprised if any old day I drive up in a reindeer sleigh, but don't you worry, dear Won't happen right away, right away Well, if you're wondering why, I don't call, dear Remember, Santa only comes once a year But if the truth must be spoke you too love Santa Claus and broke Give me saying through playing Santa Claus with you Your sweet sugar daddy John Quit Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Kathy Fellows, uh, one of our greatest international champions. Um, they sang that, uh, that up tune in contests when they won because they had a very long uh, Sweet Alice blue, blue Gown. Big long ballad. Big long ballad, and they had to be under six minutes. Yeah, the, in the old days we had those time penalties back right. when dinosaurs walked the earth. And they had to have a short up tune to make up for the ballad, and it turned out to be their signature song. It's probably the yeah. song, maybe that and Frog Kissing are the two songs that they're maybe most known for. Well, of course. The, the Slippery Sal, too. Well, and I'm thinking of the, the great uh, uh, Over the Rainbow, you know, the, oh. that whole thing they did with, uh, yeah. with uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Great quartet, been with us a long time, and they've always we had like consistently musical <laughs> and mm -hmm. funny, entertaining performances. Yeah. And they've kept going. Uh, this is Tom Wilkie, their third different bass. Yes. Um, uh, before that was Matt Rice and the original bass, um, Hawkinson, Ken. Ken Hawkinson, uh, who unfortunately died some years ago. Was, was the oldest ever to win the quartet championship. And the oldest man ever to win a gold medal, right? Yes. At, at the time, and may time. still be. Yeah. Um, I, I think I think the oldest at, uh, is now uh, the, the, uh, the baron, baritone of yesteryear. Ah. Um, Rod Nixon. Rod, Rod Nixon. Nixon. Yeah. Um, you need more trivia buffs in these. That's chairs. right. That's right. Oh, it looks like that they're going to sing another song. Oh, they don't have the mic set exactly right. Okay. That's how the quartet sing all day in the merry old land of Oz. Say that's good, not too bad, and a couple of non non nas. That's how the judges judge all day in the merry old land of Oz. We get up at twelve and start to work at one at one. Take an hour for lunch and then at two we're done. Jolly good fun, ha ha ha, oh ho ho, and a couple of tra la las. That's how we laugh the day away. <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm so happy that they got to sing at least one song from the Wizard of Oz package that yeah. they took to chapter shows, and they still do all over the world. Yeah, the, the, the red shoes that Larry the lead wore must have been 18 inches long, right? They're, they're amazing, and they have a substitute lead, Neil, help me from up there, a uh, good friend of mine, forgotten his name, who, who substituted for, for the lead singer on some of those deals, and they stuffed a, a box full of Kleenex in those shoes for Neil to wear them when they did them because they're so big, because he had the, door, the whole Dorothy thing. It was, it's a great deal. There's they a video also, out, right? There's a video out of that's that, right. that I, I don't know if it's still the most available. Happy fellows. It looks like they're still talking to the, uh, uh, the mic tester designated judges yep. about what they're hearing in the judges area. Should I say the pit? Pit's fine with me. Yeah. Um, the, the viper pit. The viper pit. Oh, no, maybe not. The, uh, the solemn jury. And the audience is getting a real treat because this is one of the best show quartets we've ever had. Absolutely. Um, no, there they go. They're going to start up again. Do another. Yet one. another. Yeah. Most happy fellows. If there's anybody here from out of town, step up and say hello. Say what do you know if anybody's here from my home. Down, shake hands and let me know. Hi, Jack, we're glad you're back. Where I come from, the folks are neighborly. Well, let's drum up some hospitality. So if there's anybody here from out of town, step up and say hello. Come say hello to when I'm a Roman. 
Fisher Mansion in the USA. Just a rover, stop and over, make some new friends on my way. To Arizona, where I'm gonna miss the window where the birds are born to land. Then to Utah, all the heat all right, through the Rockies and the Canyon Grand. They expect us back in Texas, down to watch a hatch you got in big and time. Wise bed Christmas on the Isthmus, the sun and the foreigners. Howdy, brother, have another year's to end staying in the USA. If anybody's coming home from all towns, and say hello, hello. If anybody's here from my hometown, shake it. That reminds me of the uh, time at Peninsula Chapter where we had them uh, to do the Wizard of Oz package, uh -huh. and then they sang at least two dozen more songs at the Afterglow, mm -hmm. and they were so good at the Afterglow, and people raved about them even more that uh, we had them back the very next year to just do a regular... Two years ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that speaks to their, their performing ability, their entertainment ability. Consummate entertainers. Yeah. We're going to see yeah. a lot of that over the next few days, aren't we? Yeah. I'm here with Bill Biffle, and um, I just wanted to make sure before you got out that I uh, expressed my appreciation for all the stuff that you taught me when we were, I was a new candidate singing judge. Oh, and thank you very you much. You were on the Board of Review and the organizing committee of the new singing category. That's correct, yeah. And uh, I know when I coach, uh, Biffleisms just pop out. Ah. I, I try to have better self-control, but it never You works. have to be careful about biffleisms. <laughs> they, can, uh, they can sort of overwhelm you if you're not careful. And uh, there's certain companies in which you don't want to use some of them, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, and and the, the contest and judging community still takes your name in vain quite uh, often. Uh, um, uh, you retired as a singing judge a couple of years ago. Yeah, 2002. Okay, they're going to sing another one. Oh, Look my at goodness. that. Happy little bluebirds fly. On the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Why can't I? Okay. Yeah, we hate to be cute poor. Good for you, bud. We'll just, this is the shakedown. Most heavy fellows, I guess that the, the judges probably asked them to sing a loud tag. Yep. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a problem having this quartet be the mic tester because Tom, the bass, stands on the outside. Um, they might have been better advised for at least the very first quartet. To well, we'll have quartets with the bass on the outside, so they need to get that sound balanced. Just thinking about that tag to Somewhere Over the Rainbow, a great Lloyd Steinkamp arrangement. Lloyd yes. did an awful lot of their work. I don't know whether he did all of the uh, uh, Wizard of Oz package, but I think so. Lloyd was a, is a great arranger, a great coach, a great mentor uh -huh. to all of us. Certainly, I've learned so many things from him over the years. 